Welcome to Minute Indie, where I spend 60 seconds talking to you about an indie game that stands out to me and see if it's worth your hard-earned green buckaroos, all spoiler-free of course. Today's game is 123 Slaughter Me Street Super Retro, available on both the Android and Apple Play stores. In 123 SMS Super Retro, you play as a man escaping the police, only to take shelter in an abandoned building. Little to your knowledge, the building is haunted by possessed Foggle puppets, and your only chance of escape is your dying flashlight. The graphics and audio are both fantastic, a great rendition of something I'd expect to see on the Super NES. The level design change as you go through the 13 different levels, and the character and monster designs and animations are also fantastic, clearly representing their original forms from the series. The gameplay is also solid. Use your flashlight to deter monsters with each one acting different, and if you fail to flash a monster in time, you get a jump scare and are sent back to the beginning of the level. You also get occasional boss battles against Gomez, the main villain who also introduces himself at the very first tutorial level. You can also find coins in the levels that you can use to buy cosmetics in the shop. 123 SMS Super Retro is a fantastic take on the 123 SMS franchise. Solid gameplay, solid graphics, solid audio, and you know what's even better? It's free. So go and get it. You have no reason not to try out this very, very fun indie horror game. Are you going to try 123 SMS Super Retro? Let me know down below, and thank you all for watching today's video.